New Brunswick's newest brewery gets its first listings from ANBL. Rare Bird brings a new beer to town. French and Beer Fest is really ramping up. And learn how to win two VIP tickets to the French and Craft Beer Fest. Hello and welcome to the January 31st edition of the Maritime Beer Report. Big congrats go out to Hammond River Brewing tonight as they announced that they now have four beers listed with ANBL. That means that very soon you'll be able to get their handcrafted ales on tap at four different establishments in the St. John and surrounding area. Look for them soon at St. John Ale House, Bourbon Quarter, The Barrel's Head and Shire Town Publicans. The initial offerings are Hop Flash IPA with 66 IBUs and 6.6% ABV, Red Coat India Red Ale with 54 IBUs and 6.5% ABV, Covered Bridge Extra Special, Extra Special Bitter with 40 IBUs and 5.5% ABV, and Back in Black Oatmeal Stout with 30 IBUs and 5.2% ABV. Authentic Seacoast Brewing Company in, were in Halifax today dropping off Rare Bird craft beer pumpkin ale at Premier, Stillwell Bar, Bishop Cellar, Harvest Wine Spirits. The beers described on the website, in the tradition of colonial brewers, Rare Bird Pumpkin Ale begins with our hard-working hands picking pumpkins and squash in local fields. We spice and roast our harvest bounty before adding it in two stages to our brewing process, creating a full-flavored craft ale that balances the beer's hop character with the spiced pumpkin. The result is a crisp ale that is a toast to our ancestors. It sounds yummy and it comes in at 5.5 percent ABV. Garrison Brewing Company had students from King's College Beer Culture Course join them to make a cask of Mojito Hop Yard yesterday. It will be conditioned for four weeks and will be served at the HMCS King's Ward Room in late February. Propeller Brewing Company tapped a couple of casts today at 4 o'clock at the Stubborn Goat Gastro Pub. They had a vanilla porter and a Citra Dry Hopped IPA available. I attended the first beer maker's dinner at Rock Bottom Brew Pub on Monday and, and I loved it. The pairings were perfect and the food was delicious. I highly recommend getting tickets to the next one which is February 25th if you can. I'll have a full blog post out this weekend on the courses and the beers. Lastly, we're getting down to about a month away from the Fred and Craft Beer Fest and the beer brewers list is starting to really shape up. Craft brewers attending so far from our region, Bad Apple Brew House, Nova Scotia's newest brewery, Big Spruce Brewing, Big Tide Brewing, Boxing Rock Brewing, Bridge Brewing, Garrison Brewing, Grimrosh Brewing, Hammond River Brewing, which I just mentioned, Pump House Brewery, Red Rover Brewing Company, and Shire Town Beer. So it's, uh, and of course, there's going to be a lot of other vendor, other brewers from other regions, and there's probably going to be a few more from our region. I think I uh, missed Bar None from PEI. I believe they're sending over some stuff to try. So uh, get your tickets soon, or you'll be disappointed. And start tomorrow, I'm running a contest on my Twitter and Facebook to win two VIP tickets to the fest, courtesy of the Fred and Craft Beer Festival. Check every day for a different entry. Let's look for details tomorrow. That's all for this week. Until next time, enjoy responsibly. <laughs>